Hello, welcome to Crash Course Your Sister, and my name is Jane Green. Today we're going to talk about the Great Depression and the decrease in the automotive market. After the stock market crash in 1929, Americans didn't have enough money, they didn't have enough fun to buy the goods the automobile industries had. The demand was so low, although the supply was really high. Although Ford had enough Model A's, Model T's to hand out uh, to the consumers, the consumers didn't want them because they didn't have enough money to buy them. And also, the circulation of currency, the circulation of money in the United States was very low. Not many people started to spend. They all saved up their money because they couldn't trust each. They couldn't trust the bank. They couldn't trust each other. So the money was remained. In, uh, the money remained intact. It didn't go anywhere. So the, since the circulation of currency, the circulation of money decreased, the spending and the buying, the consumerism also decreased. So this was the big uh, cause to the crisis in the automobile industries. They had enough cars, they had enough supplies to give out to the consumers, but they couldn't find the way. They couldn't find the way to get their goods across to the consumers. The unemployment rate in the United States was skyrocketing. The unemployment rate was skyrocketing. And the gross national product was decreasing. The automobile industries uh, stopped producing the goods because the consumers didn't have enough money to buy the goods. In the GNP in 1929 was 100, in 1930 it was 90, and in 1933 it's 70. It's going down and down and it's getting worse and worse. And what did the automobile industries do? They had to find a way. And they found the way to get the goods to the consumers. And that way was new ways of advertisement and new technology. The technology was developing they created the automatic transmission. They created the semi-automatic transmission. They created the uh, other different types of engines that helped and that appealed to the consumers in the United States. So when the consumers saw these new ideas, when they saw the new technology, when they saw the new innovation, the consumers, Americans, decided to buy more cars, decided to buy the goods, because they thought it was necessary, they thought it was appealing. And this way, uh, Henry Ford, G, uh, GM, and other automobile industries were able to get their goods to the consumers. And that's how they were able to prosper during the, uh, during the Great Depression.